one of God's greatest gifts to mankind. 750 conventioners joined in giving thanks to God for this gift and in witnessing to his power through their use of it in the International Choral Union. Under the direction of Professor Ellis Snyder, the Choral Union rehearsed each day. The concert presented on Saturday evening was a thrilling witness to God's power in the lives of Luther Leaguers everywhere who love to sing his praises. unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever amen using this text from the inspired letter of Jude dr. Marcus Rickey preached to the huge audience on the theme, to him, all glory and power. All of these things, my Christian young friend, and then we can say to a group of consecrated youth like yourself, Christ can present you faultless before the throne of grace. How can we dare say such a thing? You know the reason as well as I. It is because the blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, has cleansed you from all your sins. And you this day know that and have experienced it during this week. And now you as the youth of the American Lutheran Church come before the altar of Holy Communion and there in Christ's body and blood have for you, because of your faith and trust in him, the assurance and confidence that all your sins are forgiven. To him all glory and honor. He is able to keep you from falling he is able to keep you faultless. Now listen. To him all glory and honor. He is able to keep you until that day with blessings forever. Do you remember you leadership training school young people? Do you remember how we studied from John 14 about the heavenly mansions in our father's home? Do you remember how there already your heart was warmed in anticipation of that day when we shall live with him and with all the saints. Do you remember people who have put loved ones away, that you too took comfort in this, that God was willing to keep you forever blessed with him? Oh, let's share do doxology and sing once again, thine is the power, O triune God of love. Beside but thee there is no other God by thee sustained and by thy death made free for thine is the power and thine the victory
tractor trolleys, ten of them, loaned to the convention by the Oliver Corporation, were provided to transport the leaguers to their destination. Leaguers and more leaguers, mighty Michigan, the Eastern District, Dakota, Illinois, Iowa, Texas, Wisconsin and California, Minnesota and Canada. Return GIs just in time for the convention. A happy, joyous lot. Everywhere, signs such as this one over the entrance to the campus greeted them. youth of the American Lutheran Church who gave their lives in the service of their country. pages of names on the printed program. Grim reminder of war's awful toll. 1,511 names, not of future pastors, missionaries, or workers, but names of those who lost their lives, who must be replaced by men and women consecrated to the Prince of Peace. Dr. J. A. Dell brought the word of God from the Old Testament and spoke searchingly on Isaiah's experience in God's presence of confession of sin and willingness to serve. Applying it to our day, he asked, what shall I do with my life? And pled with youth to give their life, their all for Christ and for his church. Citizens of a greater kingdom, a smartly attired contingent of overseas veterans, representing every branch of our military service, were led to the flagpole by former Army Air Corps Chaplain, Reverend George Sharp, to dedicate the Gold Star Memorial Flag. Christian flag. 
last, the Gold Star Service Flag. Liturgist for the convention and the memorial service was Reverend F. J. Moulter of Walla Walla, Washington. Members of the 10th International Luther League Convention. We welcome you to this convention and are honored to present to you at this time a painting by Warner Solomon. It was seen as the Reverend Charles Sandrock, convention manager, introduced a man who witnesses to that power through his special talent of painting, Mr. Warner Solomon. In a few words, Mr. Solomon interpreted his picture a manifestation of the power of God. And for the Luther League of the American Lutheran Church in convention assembled, Warner Salman unveiled his striking new masterpiece, The Christ of Power. For 1,600 years, the Church has given testimony to the world of her faith through her confessions. Among these is the Nicene Creed. This great statement of faith is not only the faith of the Apostles and of our fathers, but of all who in this day believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God and the Savior of the world. And this is the faith of our youth. In a day when our world is morally confused, the youth of the church courageously point the world to the answer, Christ. Because Christ is the King and Lord of the nations, youth dare to live Christ by his grace through faith and boldly step forward to tell the world of this great faith and seal it before men with a wholehearted confession, this I believe. One God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I
of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made. For us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. Ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and Giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy Christian and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. And I look for the resurrection of the dead and the This I believe. Ah!